If you've been dealing with a stubborn injury that's just not getting better, no matter how hard you try, well, there's a thing called the Wolverine Healing Protocol. And this includes BPC-157 and TB-500. Now these are compounds or peptides that are designed to help you heal faster. But are they real? Do they help? What does the science have to say? Because they could be the missing link between you right now and your ability to get back on the mats or back into training as fast as possible. Now these compounds and peptides are gaining a huge notoriety and a lot of popularity around biohacking and regenerative medicine, even though they're not FDA approved. So what are they? How can they help you? And should you even be considering these protocols or these peptides whatsoever? Of course, we have to ask, are they safe? Should you be using them? Do they actually work? And is it worth the money and the risk? So what is BPC-157? BPC-157 is actually a peptide that is naturally occurring and it is found in your gastric juices and gut. This is also going to be really helpful for regenerative changes such as tendon, muscle, and ligament. And there is some evidence that it will even help with the lining of the stomach. And one can also theorize that if it's good for the lining of the stomach and the gut and the microflora of the gut, well, that's going to be good for your brain as well. TB500 is a synthetic version for thymosin beta-4, and that is a naturally occurring substance that also occurs in the body, and it's supposed to be really helpful for cell migration as well as inflammatory changes. So both of these combined are supposed to be really helpful when it comes to getting over injuries, chronic injuries, especially when it comes to ligament, tendon and muscle. There are many different types of ways that you can take these types of compounds if you do decide that it is the best fit for you. One is going to be oral, so there are gonna be pills. I've even seen an aerosol that you spray into your nose, but then there's also, of course, the injectable. And according to the research or the things that I have noticed so far and that I've looked up, it seems like injectables are going to be the best way forward if you are going to be taking this compound, meaning it's got the best effectiveness. There is also some evidence to suggest that you could do it in what we call subcutaneous fat, meaning you can take it at your belly and you can kind of give yourself a little injection there. Or if let's just say it's an area of injury, you can do it near the site of injury as well. That is supposed to have more local effects. However, there are some areas of the body that maybe just don't have enough fat or maybe it's hard to inject. So either way, you can do that in both or one of these sites and you can alternate back and forth, but it seems to be that the best way to do it is going to be subcutaneous, like meaning in the belly fat, and that's where you can do the injections. So let's talk science. First of all, these compounds have really, really good evidence based in animal models. There are some human models that actually suggest that this is going to be helpful or beneficial. However, there's not enough evidence to suggest at this point in time that it's going to be helpful for you because there's not enough evidence in the human models. But when we talk about animal models or human models, it's going to be really beneficial for pain, inflammation, and connective tissues such as the ligaments, tendons, and muscles, as we mentioned before, in the ability to heal a little bit faster. This is just one of the things that we are seeing in the models is that we see an increase in rate of healing. But again, there's not enough evidence in the human studies to suggest, therefore, compounds like this are being sold out there on the market. However, they're for research purposes and they should not be used in human studies. That being said, I've heard about BPC-157 roughly about five or six years ago when I had a couple patients come in. And mind you, I'm a little bit of a baby when it comes to needles and things like that. However, as years progressed, as regenerative medicine became a little bit stronger and it has gained a lot of popularity, I have seen more and more patients start to come and saying, yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm taking it for four to six weeks at a time. And now this thing is gained a lot of wildfire in the last six months. And I'm noticing that there is a lot of patients that are having it. A lot of doctors are talking about it. You can see it on YouTube, Instagram. There's a lot of buzz and there's a lot of noteworthy effects that are happening. So I will tell you from my opinion and from what my patients have said, I've had roughly 60 to 70% of my patients say that who are on it seem to have some sort of benefit. There are a good 30 or 40% of patients who say, hey, I don't really feel much. So you really have to understand that these compounds while might be beneficial and expensive, they may not even be worth using at all. However, the research, according to the animal models, 
say it's so. That being said, I've also said that most of my patients do report some positive effects. I've even asked other doctors. I've asked internal medicine people. I've asked surgeons. And of course, many doctors do not recommend this because there's not enough studies in human. And I totally agree with that. However, just because it doesn't, just because the research hasn't caught up to it, doesn't mean it's not going to be effective. And again, I'm just giving you some anecdotal evidence and some information that I have reported from my patients and I'm telling you as well, because there is a capacity and there are many people out there who swear by these compounds and allow them to heal faster. So who are the people that are using these types of peptides right now? When I see it in my clinic, it's usually people who are having nagging injuries. They're usually athletic or they're active. They're not necessarily pro athletes. However, I have heard about pro athletes using this because even though this is an injectable, it does not break any steroid laws because it's just a peptide, right? So basically a bunch of proteins and amino acids. So this is not necessarily illegal. I believe that if you get tested for this stuff, it won't even come up because it is not a steroid, right? This is not going to affect your hormone system, but basically what it would do is it signals a bunch of molecules to help increase the healing capacity faster. So you will see this in active individuals, you will see this in some athletes, you will see this in some regenerative and restorative medicine clinics. However, there are some people that just don't wanna take it because of the reasons I mentioned earlier about the human studies. So should you consider even using these compounds whatsoever? Well, one, if you're having a nagging injury that's just not getting better despite doing the rehab, despite doing all the other things, I would first try your best to do all that stuff first. Now, if you're post-surgical or having a lot of inflammation and pain, apparently the TB500 with the BPC157 together help to mitigate that inflammation and you can potentially heal faster because you're reducing the inflammation markers there and you're allowing cellular migration, AKA remodeling of the tissues a lot faster. So there is some evidence to suggest that that might be one of those things. Also, if you are doing the rehab, if you are doing everything you can, and maybe you're just not healing as fast as you can, or maybe it's more of a serious injury and it's going to take longer, this might be an opportunity for you to use these compounds in order to heal faster. So BPC-157 may actually be the future of regenerative medicine for the average person. We've talked about PRP in the past, we've talked about stem cells, and those are extremely good but expensive options. And again, some research exists well for that and some does not. However, some of these compounds you can get for 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, couple hundred dollars, which is significantly reduced when it compares to stem cells or something like that. So you can do this on your own and everything you basically see here, you can get with under $200 including the syringes, including the reconstitution solution, including the peptides itself and all these other factors. So that being said, you might be able to get all of this stuff done over the counter for under $150, whereas maybe a PRP or a stem cell injection can range all the way from 600 to thousands of dollars and it may not help as well or it may it just depends so these might become the future of rehab and become part of that because i have seen in strength and conditioning coaches i have seen in chiropractors and some other physical therapists who are not necessarily recommending it but you know they're talking about it just like we are here and it's really starting to get a huge amount of notoriety and buzzworthiness and it might not be for just no apparent reason it actually might be really helpful so be wise when you are taking it and i just want to let you know this type of stuff is good if you are doing the right stuff assuming it is legal safe and effective according to the research however it does not replace good rehab eating well sleeping well and good movement patterns. If you're not doing all this other basic stuff, you could be taking this stuff, maybe it'll drive down some inflammation at best, but it's not going to replace it because you're going to come back with the same injury over and over if you don't actually take it. So if you're somebody who is considering taking this stuff, I would ask you first, make sure you speak with your doc, Make sure you really research what you need to be doing. Make sure you have a good rehab therapist and a good rehab plan before you implement this stuff as well. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight about what BPC-157 
actually is and if you should take it, what you should consider and who and how you should be using this. See you guys on the mat. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment below and I'll see you soon. Peace.